Hi everyone, my name is Paula. Welcome to Relatively Refined. In today's video, my sisters Kathleen, Patty, and I will be sharing with you our favorite thrift find of the month for the month of August. We do this every month at the end of the month and it really is fun for us to see what the others have found. I hope you enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed already, we'd love for you to be part of the Relatively Refined family. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into our thrift find of the month for August. For my thrift find of the month for August, I chose this beautiful little teapot. I'm gonna hold it up and you can see it is so sweet. It has this gorgeous, picture of a covered bridge on it. It's a wintry scene. You can see these snow covered trees on this side. But what actually drew me to this teapot, aside from this beautiful covered bridge scene that reminds me so much of Vermont, was this adorable cardinal perched atop the lid of the teapot. And then the teapot itself, as you can see, has all kinds of little cardinals all over it. Just gorgeous. It's in perfect condition. There are no chips, no cracks. It's really so lovely. And it reminded me of growing up in Vermont. There are some beautiful covered bridges in Vermont and with the snow covered trees and the cardinal, it's just a classic quintessential Vermont winter scene. And they say that cardinals um, are the spirits of loved ones who have passed away coming to let you know that they are okay. So it has really special meaning. And I was just kind of perusing the shelves at Goodwill and what caught my attention was that little cardinal on top. And as I looked closer, I thought it was just so, so darling. I'm so excited to be able to use this this winter, pour myself a hot cup of tea, um, probably in, you know, in the holidays, I'll put it out. It's just gorgeous and I can keep it up all winter. So for $4.99, which is what I paid for it, that is my thrift find of the month for August. Hi, this is Patty from Relatively Refined, taking a break out of, um, from bread baking to share with you my August thrift find of the month. And this is these beautiful set of six of these beautiful West Elm plates. And if you've been watching this channel and uh, you know that I love my Mikasa white classic dinner plates and use them every single day. However, I only have a set of four of them and they are my everyday dishes. And uh, so I'm looking for another everyday dish that could um, serve more people for one thing. So I did get a set of six of these, um, but also kind of be, uh, have the classic, you know, look that goes with anything. And, but maybe something a little bit different than just the plain white. So this is a creamy, of ivory color and it has beautiful scallop edging and it has gold and black kind of braided trim around the edge and I just loved these when I'm looking for plates I try to look when I'm looking for everyday plates I try to look for something that is classic that I'm not going to get sick of that I can layer that I can use uh, kind of dress up and dress down um, that any sort of napkin or flatware will go with and we'll have a timeless look to it. Generally, I also like um, eight inch plates. These are 11 inch or eight and a half inch, I think is what I like. So they're a little bigger than I would typically buy, but they also serve as great, they're almost like chargers. So these could also be a great layering plate for any other kind of salad plate that I use. Also, they are not vintage. Um, these are 
I think, new. They're West Elm. They look, you know, to be in great shape. And that's the other thing I look for in plates. I am not going to generally eat off of something that has heavy crazing or that I have to worry about, you know, if it chips, could there be lead? So I generally don't buy a lot of vintage plates to eat off of. And I do have my mother-in-law's china, which is all perfectly fine to eat off of, um, but it's in my china cabinet. So for everyday plates, I really look for something that is relatively new, in really good shape, and a classic look. And I think these West Elm plates did accomplish just that. So these are from Goodwill. A set of six of these, I think was $4. I think they are 59 cents each. And I am so happy to have these. And you can look for these in an upcoming fall tablescape video. Hi, it's Kathleen from Relatively Refined. Today, we are excited to share with you our August find of the month. And before I share with you my August find of the month, I thought I would give you just a little bit of information on how I go about choosing or picking the items that I end up purchasing when I'm thrifting or going to a yard sale. The way I do it is I kind of think of things in three buckets. So the first bucket is, ooh, is this something that I absolutely love? Um, I can't part, I can't walk away from the store without it. Um, or is it something that I really, really need? Like for example, I've, I've gotten many um, glass pie plates or um, bread loaf pans because I really needed them. And at the thrift shop, they were much more affordable. So that would be something that would go in that first bucket. I really need that. Um, or like I said, I just can't walk away from it. And an example of that might be the credenza that I shared with you on the last video. I just, I loved it. I had to have it. The second bucket that I find myself kind of thinking about when I make a purchase is, would is this something somebody else would really love? You know, sometimes I'm on the lookout for something, a kind of dish or something somebody's collecting, um, or I see a color or something that I know somebody would love, or I know they're on the lookout for a footstool or whatever it is. Um, or also in that same bucket is, is this, a good DIY project. I may not need it. I don't, maybe I don't, it's not perfect. I don't really have a great spot for it, but it would make a perfect DIY project. And I like to have those going. So those would be the second, those would go into the second bucket. And the third bucket is, wow, this is something that is a high quality piece. I don't necessarily have a spot for it, or um, I can't think of anybody that it would be perfect for but it's it's a beautiful high quality piece maybe kind of rare um, and maybe even with some value to it so my august thrift find happens to fit into that third bucket it's nothing that i really needed um i didn't i didn't I don't have anybody that was on the lookout for that but when i spotted it i knew it was a very very high quality piece um, and i just had to pick it up what I didn't realize when I picked it up was just how high quality it it, it really is. Um, so, um, and actually I didn't get this at a thrift shop or a yard sale. This was actually from a free pile. So without further ado, let me share with you my August find of the month. So here is my August find of the month. It's um, it's a, It's called an occasional table. It's a little higher than a coffee table. You often see it placed between two chairs. And this one is made from sort of bamboo, rattan, and I'm gonna come a little closer and you'll see the top is sort of a woven material, it's round. It's absolutely in perfect condition. There's not one, one thread out of place or any of the wrapping, like in the here that oftentimes you see that becomes unwrapped or um, and it's all in perfect shape. Clearly it was, it was an indoor table and it has the base, which is more square. And you'll see the kind of a nice pattern. The legs flare out a little bit. And when I saw this on the side of the road, like I said, on a free pile, 
I pulled over and I was putting it in my car and I noticed the, um, the label it was a really nice sort of metal plate label on the underside of it. And it said McGuire of San Francisco. So I thought, well, that, that I love the piece. I thought it was really, it looked like a very high quality piece. But when I got home, I looked up McGuire of uh, San Francisco and I found this exact table on a couple of sites that sell uh, furniture like Cherish or Estate. Um, there's another one. I can't think of the name of it right now. And this exact table um, is selling for $3,500. So that's why it's in my bucket number three. It definitely has some value. I don't think I'm going to keep it. I think I'm going to try and sell it um, because $3,500 is a lot of... Um, will help me buy a lot of other things from the thrift stores and the, and the tag sales. <laughs> it's kind of like fun money. Um, besides, I don't really have a place for it, and it's, it's far too beautiful to just keep out in my garage. So this is my August find of the month from a free pile, a beautiful McGuire of San Francisco occasional table that is valued at $3,500. Thanks for watching. If you're not, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. We are aiming for 500 subscribers before the end of summer, and we're really, really close. So please click subscribe, like this video if you have any questions, or if you've ever found something from a free pile that ended up being sort of in your bucket number three, um, let me know. Um, I'd love to hear from you. We'll see you next time.